Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Jack, that's some cack. Hey everybody, welcome to Extreme Food Reviews. My name is Daniel. And I'm Jonas. I have to say thank you to all our new subscribers and to everybody who's been watching and commenting on our videos and liking our videos. We've been at it lately. We've had a lot that we've been doing. We've been cooking recipes for you. We've been doing challenges for you. But we one thing we haven't done in a long time is a good old fashioned food review. One of the things that's happened to us is we've made a lot of friends. Thank you, Christopher, for these nifty little things you sent us. Someone else that we've met through our channel is a fellow named uh, Eden Van. He owns a beef jerky company, and the name of the company is Ria's Roadkill Jerky. Hold that up and show the people what you got there, Jonas. I want to eat it. <laughs> That's his, uh, his habanero jerky. He knows this very well. It weighs three whole ounces. Three ounces of habanero jerky. <sighs> I, I talked to him a little bit about his company. I wanted to find out who this guy was. We don't just eat stuff that people send us. That's not how we are. Um, Tide Pods. Yeah, right. Eat this. We got Tide Pods for you. They're habanero Tide Pods. Apparently, he was a guy who asked his wife for a food saver back in 2010 so that he could package this jerky recipe that he'd been working on for years. He actually turned that into a company, this company that he has now, an award-winning beef jerky company. We're going to put links to Ria's Roadkill down in the description so that you can click on it and you can check it out yourself. So why don't you tell the people a list of ingredients. Beef, water, cane sugar, soy sauce, garlic, onion, black pepper, lemon juice, habanero, and monosodium glutamine. I think that's like a preservative. He did tell me that he makes his jerky what he calls the low country way. He slow smokes the meat for six to eight hours in hickory or mesquite. Wait, hold on, hold on. You guys want an extreme food review? Yeah, that stuff's kind of funny tasting. Oh, let's go, that's like Tide Pods. You don't want to eat that, that will kill you. Yeah, that's not good. Let's get to the actual product. Yes. Let's eat it! That smells so good. It smells like oh, wow. bacon. That's the first thing I'm smelling is the is the smoke on this. I'd be a big boy and take a whole piece. Will you be a big boy and take a whole piece? Yeah. This is the hottest he's got. All we're right. we're not afraid. We're not afraid of your jerky, Eden. Ready? Clunk it. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, tastes like a habanero. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting the smoke. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Just got some kick. Oh. Oh, very tender. You immediately get hit with the smoke and the sweetness. Definitely has a sweet top end. The fire goes right, for me, went right to the throat. Yeah. Sometimes people label packages saying, oh, we got habanero, or we have jalapeno, or ghost we have pepper. ghost pepper. We've tried Carolina Reaper jerky. We get a lot of sauces that we've tried that are what we call novelty sauces where they're not a lot of flavor. They put a ton of pepper extract in it just so that it can be super hot and it's all heat, no flavor. We like the real thing. This one's actually got a real good habanero kick. I'm gonna eat some more. It's not a really dry jerky. Sometimes we'll try jerky and either it's over-processed, so it'll have a very waxy kind of consistency or it'll be very dry. This is neither. It's easy to chew. You don't have to fight with it too much. It's actually a really good flavor. Well done, Eden. His name is Eden, and his wife's name is Marie, but they call her Rhea for short. That's her nickname. You want to have a little more? I'm definitely going to have a little more. So that's how they came up with the name of the product, Rhea's Roadkill Jerky. That one's got some kick. What's the matter? Eden, you may have taken Donuts down with your heat level. Is it beating up? No. The flavor's fantastic. Give me the milk. How many flaming toilets would you give this on a scale of one to five? Five being some of the hottest stuff we've ever tried. Zero being what we expect like a flaming Dorito chip to be. This probably sits somewhere for pepper lovers between a one and a two. Definitely has kick, but it's not so much heat that you can't enjoy the jerky. Sometimes you'll eat stuff and it's all flavor forward. That's it, punches in the face and it's over. This actually has depth to the flavor. Excuse me. Compliments to the chef. Christopher sent us some stuff. 
I've always wanted to be a pirate, so this works out well. Is this my good eye? I don't even know. Oh, wait. Can you hit the lens? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can use Christopher's kazoo and lay some beats. Eden and Rhea, if you're looking for a theme song for your product, I, I might know someone who can help you out. We're going to give Rhea's Roadkill Habanero Beef Jerky a definite thumbs up. Flavor is great. Heat is great. The smokiness and the sweetness of it is fantastic. That's my favorite part of this. We're going to put the link to Rhea's Roadkill Jerky down in the description. Click on it. Check them out. They actually have quite a few flavors, not just the habanero. I wasn't a good father, and I never taught my son how to use a kazoo. <laughs> and he started blowing. So listen, we want to thank all of you for sticking around and checking this out. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe! Talk to us about any of the beef jerkies you've tried. Thank you, Christopher, for these nifty little things you sent us. We're going to be opening up the rest of his box soon, and we might be sharing some of that with our some of this goodness with you. Jonas, take us out. The <laughs> jerky. I think we got something here.